Hi friends, this is Andy Vegan. Today I'm going to make a wonderful, I say breakfast or I say dessert. That depends. To me it's breakfast now, but it would be a wonderful dessert because it is about one of the most fantastic autumn fruits. It is a pear. Yeah, it's one of my first recipes with pear this year, I guess. There wasn't many before this year and I can't wait. More and more pears are coming, different kinds of pears. I will try something with this. I have just two pears here and you see I sliced them. Here's a half them first, the cutting board, and then I sliced them. You will see these slices. Halves can be sliced easily. And then I sliced, uh, I cut the, sli the slices uh, all together into two or three parts. Then you have these nice, this nice um, shape. And I put uh, the, the pears here into a larger bowl. Can you see? Here. And you see, these are nice and ripe pears, and I don't even need to peel them. Just uh, the stem needs to be taken out. The rest can be eaten. It's, I mean, you can peel them if you like. No problem. It's a little bit more finer. But I like the peel. The peel adds to the flavor of the pear, like in many other fruits. On its own, the peel is a little bit bitter, and it's hard. Probably you don't like. But if you combine it with the sweet fruit, it adds a perfect... Um, yes, it makes it more like pear. I mean, you, you have to try it. You try it, maybe try it. I mean, this also I blend it today. No, I bl don't blend it today. I blend it, leave it whole. Uh, but I will blend a dressing for it, for the pear salad. And the dressing came to me spontaneously, the idea, because I was about I've been about to, to make something with macadamia these days already. Here I have a, maybe a third cup macadamia nuts. I love, love these nuts. They are very fat, but high in protein too. They are the kings of nuts, or the queens of nuts, I don't know. But they're, 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 that's what they call them. And pretty expensive, but super delicious. I love them. So that's the base for the, for the, dressing, uh, for the dressing now together with a banana. I don't need to tell a lot of stories about banana. Everybody who knows my videos know I love banana. Yeah, I love bananas so much. I have them at home every day. I break some in pieces. There are two or three smaller bananas, bananas, of course, ripe. And so it will be a macadamia banana milk. Yeah, that's what I would call it. That's basically it. I put some dates in here, some soft dates, pity of course, four or five small dates. The very inexpensive one, but very nice, nice datey flavor. And a lemon, a small lemon here, peeled of course, to balance the dates, not only, but also to add this wonderful, fantastic flavor to the, to the especially to the, to the banana. The banana and, the pear and lemon together are really outstanding. If you don't, didn't try it, you have to. It, ha it has to be. I mean, banana and lemon makes banana even more banana. <laughs> yeah, and this is a vanilla. Then I, I came to do this because of the pear. Yeah. Pear is such a gentle fruit. It has a nice, sweet, tender flavor, and all the fruit is like soft, and so compared to the apple, of different, different quality. And if, to me, uh, the vanilla would be something very nice with this kind of sweetness. Macadamia also is a nut that not only rich in minerals and in um, nutrients, but also a special flavor, like um, a very intense and characteristic flavor. There's an edge to it a little bit. A little bit. Some don't like, but I love it. And I guess it would be perfect with a pair together. I can't explain now more in detail. But maybe later, I don't know. But these two together, they seem to be worth a try. I didn't combine them before, but now I will. So a little bit, a little, a little bit of water I will put into the sauce, into the blender, mainly because the, the blades down there it will make an easier job, have an easier job with a little bit, with a little bit of water. Let's see what happens now in a second. <laughs>
I needed to blend some more time, some more rounds of dancing, because macadamia are pretty hard. Maybe you should soak them before. If your blender is not a high-speed blender, then you would soak them, maybe overnight even, to have it ready for the breakfast. Then it is pretty easy, easy to blend. Macadamias will turn bigger and bigger with the water. They crack open a little bit. <clears throat> Very nice to blend. This is a nice cream here. Oh, very nice. I will be so curious what that will taste like. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, wonderful. There it is. Macadamia flavor is there. The lemon, of course, the date, of course. The macadamia is there too. Well, that's what I wanted. Oh, the vanilla is there, sure. And a nice sweetness is there too. Balancing dates. Here, I show you when I pour it over the pear. You see? Just pear, nothing else. All my creams on there now. Banana, macadamia cream. Or yeah, this is more a cream than a cream than the milk. You can always put more water into it. If you prefer, then you have more like a soup. Yeah, with some pears in the soup. But that is as you like. I mean, you could also do that. But, well, it's up to you. Main here are the ingredients. And um, more or less water, that's really up to you. Here. What do you think? <laughs> oh, are you glad to hear? How you feel about it? You can subscribe MDV on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day.